Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I apologize that I'm not on camera, though I don't really think it makes a difference to anyone here. I'm on vacation and I'm trying to figure out the light situation. Anyway, because I'm on vacation, I thought along with having to read the bell jar for school, which is the most lighthearted reading you could imagine, let's talk about something lighthearted, namely bestiality. I came across a TikTok which tipped me off to this. Y'all, this woman straight up took doggy style to the next level, and I mean literally. A very pregnant woman was arrested for doing the deed with a dog, and I shit you not. 20-year-old Denise Fraser was arrested on Thursday at 5.57 p.m. She was charged with attempted unnatural intercourse and unnatural intercourse with a dog. And guess what? She was arrested and charged last year with similar charges of unnatural intercourse and aggravated animal cruelty. This was in Jones County. That's in Mississippi. And that incident was for sex with a German Shepherd. I guess she has her preferences. This week it was in Forest County and it was with a Siberian Husky mix. And boy, if that wasn't enough, she took videos of the act and this was two weeks before she was due to have a baby. You've got to be kidding me. She told investigators it was her service dog. I bet it was. After she was released from jail the first time, she unapologetically posted a video on social media saying she had always had sex with dogs and enjoyed it. In another post, she announced that she was pregnant. She showed the ultrasound and made note that it was a human baby, not a dog baby. You gotta be kidding me. Another suspect who is associated with the case, 18-year-old Skylar English, was also arrested on Thursday. He was charged with accessory before the fact. The new charges were allegedly brought forward when an investigator received a tip about the video that looked to show a pregnant woman, which was Denise, having sex with a dog. So back in 2023, she was ordered to stay away from animals, but screenshots of the latest video show that she violated her bond conditions. So now she's got a contempt of court issue against her, so she's being held in jail without bond this time. Her preliminary hearing is March 29th. Hopefully she will get some help at some point because she is one sick puppy. So I checked all the facts in this Daily Mail article, so it is actually trustworthy if the other sources are trustworthy, and those were from publications I would deem trustworthy for the millionth time the word trustworthy, in case you missed it. Mississippi woman, 19, accused of sex with German Shepherd is pictured with dog after she crashed her car days before her arrest. Cops say bestiality tape was recorded outside a local Baptist church. I don't really know where to start here. I really did not expect a car crash to be the least shocking thing in a headline, but wow. So I looked into this person due to the bestiality. I didn't even know the car crash was a thing and I'm pretty sure none of us are particularly concerned about that aspect of the story. So I'm not going to focus on it too hard. She wasn't like severely injured or anything. So a Mississippi teenager is accused of having sex with a German shepherd has been pictured with the dogs days before her arrest. Denise Frazier, 19, was snapped with a dog after crashing her car in Mississippi last Sunday, days before she was arrested over a clip of the alleged bestiality. Cops have also since revealed that the alleged dog sex clip was shot outside a Baptist church in Frazier's hometown. Now the TikTok I watched claimed also that she was pregnant, which honestly, I don't know why it makes things worse, but it most certainly does in my brain. I don't know if it's because of the horrifying imagery but I will try and confirm that and see if I can find articles that give that extra detail, but that is out there. So I went digging around to see if I could confirm the pregnancy thing. I couldn't find anything on TikTok and then there's a Snapchat, which I would not try and friend her because I do not want to come across more of the horrors. So I didn't find anything in any article. So everything I'm talking about here will be prior to her being potentially pregnant. This is still back when, when she was first arrested, because like you saw on the TikTok, there are claims also that she was arrested again. She was allegedly caught on video that had spread around via Snapchat, depicting having sex with a male canine in a local church parking lot, it is claimed. She could face up to 10 years in prison. The investigation has revealed further disturbing details about Frazier's dalliances with dogs, which she initially claimed she was forced to do, but police say there is no evidence of that being the case. Again, referencing the TikTok that I showed you, Apparently, this is not brand new for this person. If it's effectively true that this isn't brand new, that she's been doing this for a long time, it's hard for me to believe that for 
that long a time, she was forced to have sex with dogs. Cause in another article, it also mentioned that people were paying for that type of content. And I believe that. I believe that people would pay for that kind of fucked up content, but for all her life or for a long span of her life is, something I hope isn't true because she would have been a minor. So it would be double crimes in terms of having basically child pornography and child pornography involving bestiality. Basically the moral of the story is no matter which scenario we go with, there's no good news. A total of three dogs were seen on the bestiality clip, but it's unclear if Fraser is accused of abusing the others. One of the videos appeared to have been filmed in the parking lot of Freedom Baptist Church. Myrick? Sergeant J.D. Carter said. So that was filmed in the parking lot of a church. Come here. Come here, baby, 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 Who's a booty? Who's a booty? Who's a booty? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, pee, 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 pee. Oh, pee, though, look at that. He's got a boner again. Why do you keep getting boners? Screenshots of iCloud shared shots from the videos showed these being filmed between February 23rd through 28th. Carter's investigation led him to suspect that Frazier was doing this willfully with three separate dogs. All three dogs are currently being treated at a local animal hospital, according to WDAM. A concerned resident flagged the video from February to local authorities, and she was eventually arrested on aggravated cruelty charges. In my 17 years in law enforcement, this is one of the most disturbing cases that I've ever investigated, said Sergeant J.D. Carter of the Jones County Sheriff's Department. Jones County Sheriff's Department is in possession of several videos that are so graphic that we are not at liberty to release them or even discuss the particular content, he added. The investigation into this case is far from over. I have to wonder if abusing those dogs in a quote unquote public setting in the sense of in her car, in a parking lot, in front of a church, what did you think was gonna happen? You knew you could be seen. So I'm wondering if that's part of this fucked up little cocktail, but there's that. And part of it is also, did you want to be caught aside from any potential sexual gratification that might give her? It's like, did you wanna be caught because you wanna stop doing this shit? Is this a cry for help? I would like to think so, but I highly doubt it. I definitely think it's part of the kink of it all. And I say kink with many quotation marks, because kinks do not involve abuse. So anyway, Frazier did admit that it was her engaging in sexual intercourse with an animal on the video. It has been claimed, although dailymail.com has yet to verify this admission. Carter says that Frazier's alibi was that she was forced into committing the heinous acts, but that there's no evidence of that, though they are investigating. Color me shocked. There's no proof that she has been forced to have sex with animals. Wow, just gobsmacked I am. She allegedly told police she was quote unquote threatened to do it, and also that people pay her for the videos, according to the Laurel Leader call. Now I believe that people pay for all sorts of fucked up shit. So completely believe that part. We've never dealt with this particular type of case before, Carter said. There are really no true words to describe it other than disgusting. So right now we're still in that initial phase, right past the first part of it, but we're still going to look into it to see if there's more. He says there may be more videos filmed in other counties. They have alerted nearby sheriff's departments. The dogs were seized from the residence she was arrested at and taken to a local animal hospital. One of these dogs is a German Shepherd that Frazier referred to as a quote unquote service dog. Ugh, okay. Um, Frazier has been booked into the Jones County adult detention facility on charges of animal cruelty and unnatural intercourse. Something about unnatural intercourse makes it sound 10 times grosser than it already is, which is truly saying something. She made her first appearance in court Thursday and had her bond set at $25,000. The woman has also been ordered by judge to stay away from animals until after her trial, according you to WDAM. While animal cruelty in Mississippi is penalized with up to six months in prison and a fine, unnatural intercourse could see Frazier jailed for up to 10 years. Now, I hope that she does get time in jail because I feel like, how do you even monitor someone staying away from animals? I feel like it's an impossibility to get someone to truly stay away from animals. And imagine, all she'd really have to do is go on those apps. You know, when you're looking for like a dog sitter or for someone to walk your dog if you have really long days at work, there are plenty of apps like that. If she just signed up for a fucking app like that, 
boom, you have a dog that's not yours and that nobody will look into, right? You're just a dog walker or a dog sitter. There's that. The other thing is also, what is the likelihood that this person has friends that have animals? Now, obviously the friends would probably know that she shouldn't be left with animals, but again, depending on how old they are, if they're family friends, they might not even know about any of this. And access to animals, easy. So as long as she's roaming, she can just abuse animals, honestly. I, I can't, I still have difficulty vocalizing my eternal amazement at the fact that people insist they insist on recording their illegal acts, which like, I guess if you're spray painting a wall when you're 15, that might make sense. Cause you're like, oh my God, look at me, I'm breaking the law. But it's just like, after that, if you're doing something serious, again, I'm happy that you're a moron and that you decide to film it because then you get caught and boom, jail. But d is there no moment of thought of, hmm, if I take a picture of this and it's on my phone, which probably has some kind of storage like iCloud or where someone can access it and see it, maybe this isn't gonna pan out well for me. Like, is there no moment to pause and reflect? Now, granted, most of these people who are into bestiality have a collective one brain cell. So I guess it makes sense, but it's still jarring to me that it's like, you know how to use a phone, you know how phones work, and you're still thinking, you know what would be a good idea? Filming this highly disgusting and illegal thing. That's all I have for today. Hopefully your faith in humanity has dwindled as much as mine talking about this, yikes. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Actually, let me know what you think the penalty for this should be on a serious note, like no electric chair comments though, not completely against it. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.